What's going on all of you lovely people? Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I personally was able to make anywhere from five to $600 every single week using fancy hands back in 2012 to 2014. Remember I said I haven't been with fancy hands in years? I haven't, okay? But fancy hands was my very, very first work at home job that I had, you guys. I absolutely loved it. Like I said, I made a decent amount of money when I first started working with fancy hands, between five, $600 a week. And at that time I was about 25, 26, and I was working for an abuse shelter and I wasn't really making any money. And one day I was at work and I was on one of the job boards. A lady had posted about fancy hands. I said, I went in, she signed me up as her cohort. I came in and I was killing it, okay? And I kind of leveled off around 2013, 2014 because I had got another full-time work at home job where I was making more money. So, um, but Fancy Hands was my bread and butter between 2012 to 2013, 2014. And it absolutely um, saved me a whole lot of headache dealing with um, people in the brick and motor world. So I will rant and rave about Fancy Hands until the cows come home, okay? But before we get into all of this, because I'm going to be showing you guys some of the very, very simple tasks that I was um, paid to do, you guys. Super simple tasks. But before I get into that, you guys know I have to always tell you guys to go over and join the Work at Home Lounge. A lot of great things happening over there. People are getting hired left, right, and center. Um, if you're in that group, like I said, I'm going to make it my business to make sure everybody over there has at least, I don't care if it's a side hustle, I don't care if it's a part-time job, full-time job, 1099 or W2 position, everybody's going to have a work at home job. If that is the desire of their heart in Jesus name. Yes, absolutely. So all of those links will be in the description box down below. Go over and join the group. Just make sure that you answer the questions when prompted and you have a profile, profile picture. That's all that I ask of you and the account is not new. Okay. Come over there and get you some of that, um, work at home advice, knowledge, all that good jazz link is in the description box and the pinned comment of this video. Okay. Now I will be going from task to task here because I want to blur out people's personal information. I do not want to um, put anybody's personal information, telephone numbers or any of that stuff out. So you will be seeing me blurring a lot of information. I pretty much just want to show you what I made. And I also want to show you what the tasks consist of. Cause again, um, these, most of these were very, very simple tasks. Some of them are more complicated than others. Some of them require a lot more research. Um, but I tried my hardest to literally grab the tasks that were super easy, okay? Um, so again, I will be going through these uh, call by call. That way I can actually blur out any information that I need to blur out, blur out or put like a, a cover or something over because I don't wanna, again, compromise anybody's private information, okay? So the first one here we're gonna click on is reschedule dermatologist appointment. And as you guys see, I was paid $3.75 to reschedule a dermatologist appointment. I'm gonna click on it. And for this appointment, I'm gonna be blurring out some of this information. For this appointment, um, he said, I'm supposed to have a dermatologist appointment at 10 a.m. on 1-24. I'll now be Friday in mid to late February. Could you give them a call and reschedule for me? Then he gave me this information and of course I called and rescheduled it. So I responded, I have rescheduled your dermatologist appointment for Friday, 2-21 at 10-15. I was asked to inform you to arrive approximately at approximately 10 a.m. to check in. Also, I updated your calendar with the event. Thank you for using Fancy Hands. Sincerely, Taiwana J. Um, that was the general response, response right there to Sincerely Taiwana J or Sincerely whatever your name is. But that's just one task, and I was paid $3.75 to do this. As you can see over here, I was paid $3.75, and I was on the phone, I think, probably not even two minutes, okay? Not even two minutes, I was paid $3.75. And keep in mind, when I first started doing this, between 2012, 2014, I was making anywhere from five to $600. I remember one week, I didn't even do it that much because I had went out of town with my parents and I think I probably still made like $150, $200 that week, y'all. 
and I wasn't even really at home. I had took my computer with me and I was working from the hotel. I distinctly remember this like it was yesterday. And that's why I said Fancy Hands was my bread and butter back then because at the abuse shelter, I wasn't making that kind of money. I was enjoying what I was doing there, but I wasn't making this kind of money at the abuse shelter for two minutes worth of work, okay? So um, let me go to another task. Okay, the call right here. I'm gonna click on this one. And I was paid $2.48 for whatever, whatever this is. So this person wanted me to call Plainfield Goodwill store and ask what their store hours were for the 31st and the 1st of January, okay? Literally, that's all they wanted me to do. And they paid me $2.48 to do that. So of course I did. And I said, hello, Matthew. I called Plainfield, Plainfield Goodwill recording, regarding your request. I am including the information below. And I put the store hours and the time they closed. And I said, thank you for using Fancy Hands. Take care, Taiwana J, okay? And that was another one. I was paid again, $2.48 for that. And I used to do these back to back, y'all. Like literally every five minutes, every time. And it, it, was, it was real competitive. I'm not gonna lie, okay? There were a lot of people who were working for Fancy Hands back then, but I was still able to make anywhere from five to $600 doing it, right? Now, again, this was years ago. I'm not sure how Fancy Hands is operating today, but back then, this was very, very easy for me to do, okay? Um, so I'm gonna show you guys another one. Okay, this, this guy wanted me to cancel an appointment with his doctor, okay? My wife is not feeling well, so we can't make it, thanks. And they wanted me to cancel um, the appointment. So I called and canceled the appointment, and I told him, I hope your wife feels better soon. Thank you for using Fancy Hands. All the best, Taiwana J, okay? And I was paid $2.48 to cancel a doctor's appointment. Simple, right? Really, really simple. Another guy, he wanted me to call and order him breakfast. I remember this one. Breakfast, he paid me $2.48 to do this. Um, he wanted me to, he said, please call Bread and Butter at, gave me the phone number and order an omelet with three eggs, turkey bacon, American cheese, avocado and tomato, a 20 ounce green giant juice and deliver it to, and he gave me the address and all of that. I said, hi, Michael. Well, hello, Michael. I have placed your breakfast order. It should arrive shortly. Thank you for using Fancy Hands. All the best, Taiwana J. And he paid me $2.48 to do that. And it took me a minute to call and place that breakfast order for him. $2.48. And again, I was grabbing these back to back. Let me go down to some others. Um, this person wanted me to cancel a reservation this person wanted me to confirm a restaurant um, reservation probably. They paid me $2.48 for this one. Please confirm my dinner for six people at 8.30 at Lippy in Miami. Thanks. And I called. I said, hello, Eva. I have confirmed your reservation per your request. Thank you for using Fancy Hands. Kind regards, Taiwana J. And she paid me $2.48 for that. Seconds for me to call and confirm a reservation. <laughs> Literally seconds. Uh, this person wanted me to call their cleaning service and they paid me $3.03 for this one. And it took me 94 seconds over here as I can see. Uh, can you please call Sylvia today at 11 a.m. and let them know that while today they're coming in, we don't expect them to come in for their next scheduled visit until 1225. Please wish them all the best for the year and that they can start our, that we can start our schedule again on 1-8. You can reach them. They gave me the phone number. And I said, hello, Ronald. I called Sylvia's cleaning service and informed them after coming in today, they aren't expected to come in on 1225. I also wish them the best for the year and let them know that you will start your schedule again on 1-8. Thank you for using Fancy Hands. Sincerely, Taiwana J. Okay? And I was paid $3.03 .03 to simply call these people and say, this woman don't need you to come on Christmas Day after you come today. She don't need you to come again until January the 8th. Simple. Simple, simple, simple work, you guys. Simple work. And like I said, some of them were more complex than this. Let me go to a more complex one, but I'm gonna be honest. I used to grab the real easy ones. Like, as y'all can see, um, res restaurant confirmation, haircut appointment, chiropractor appointment, confirmed dinner reservation for this evening. And for the chiropractor appointment was $3.29. It took me 85 seconds. For the confirmed dinner reservation, it took me 45 seconds. I was paid $3.29 for the chiropractor appointment, $2.48 for the dinner reservation, okay? Literally. Um, move on to the next page, because I have several pages of these, because again, I 
worked for these people for years. Um, can you put this on my calendar? This person wanted me to put something on their calendar. Uh, please cancel my hair appointment at Wondrous Hair. I don't have to click on it for you guys to see exactly what I had to do. It took me 45 seconds, as you can see over here. You may not be able to see it because I have it blurred. 45 seconds to um, cancel that hair appointment and they paid me $3.29. Um, this person wanted me to schedule a hair appointment or schedule a haircut. They paid me $2.48 and it took me 115 seconds. Um, make a haircut appointment, add to my calendar. Um, this person wanted me to um, do a spa gift certificate. They probably wanted me to call and order a spa gift certificate. Um, this person right here wanted me to send them. This is another example. Let me click on this one. <laughs> like I said, some of these were really, really simple. This person wanted me to send them the 10 cutest pug pictures that I could find. So I went on Google and found 10 pictures of really, really adorable pugs. Okay. And I sent them 10 pictures of really, really adorable pugs. Okay. And I actually also included the site where I actually got the pictures from. So here I said, I said, hello, Julie. I have found 10 really cute pug pictures. I'm including the links below. And I included all of the links. Sincerely, Tawana J. And she paid me $2.99 to just go on Google and find her 10 pictures of pugs. Okay, like I said, I'm not gonna be, but I'm being honest. Some of these people are just rich, all right, and they just got money to pay people to do the simplest things. Okay, they got money like that to pay people to do the simplest things, and that's okay. I am here to do the simplest things for you and make this money. Okay, I am here to do the simplest things for you and make this money. I'm gonna go through a few more, however, I want to give you guys a word of advice. Okay. I get a lot of people who say that I can't get in with fancy hands. I've tried and they keep denying me. Let me tell you this. I'm not really sure how you guys are going about because there is some pre um, screening that they do where they have you complete some short tests and then they will accept you from there if you are approved. Um, first and foremost, though, you definitely do not want to go on Google and just go writing a generic generic response, even though it's not a hard work once you get in there. But you want to take your time. You want to make it sound as professional as possible. You also have to record your voice, okay? You have to do all of those things. And to be honest, I don't have any, people ask me all the time, do you have any tips and tricks to get in? The main thing I would say is take your time. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. And I want you guys to know that it's not the end of the world. Fancy hands is not the end all be all. They are not the, the, the first, they are not the last short task website. You guys can go over to Amazon. They have Clickworker. They have tons of different websites that you guys can use to do short tasks, okay? Now, I'm not sure if they have any to do things like this. However, you can try Virtual Vicky. Virtual Vicky hires um, virtual assistants. I'll make sure I put that link on my blog as well. You guys can go apply for them. And of course, again, don't sell yourself short. Just make sure that you're taking your time and that you're being professional in your answers, okay? That's it and that's all. Now, this is what they called bonus money. As you guys can see here, if you see this green dollar sign, that means they actually up the pay on this. This person wanted me to call their doctor and give them their health care details. So they wanted me to call them and give them their um, insurance information. And they actually bumped up the price on this. It was They paid me $5.51 for that. And it took me 240 seconds to complete. And I made five bucks, okay? just to call and give them their insurance information. That's it and that's all. I'm gonna try to find one a little bit more complex, but to be honest, most of these that I did were really, really simple and really, really easy. This person wanted me to make a dental appointment for them. Remember I told you guys that I started to, you know, taper off in, you know, 2013, 2014 because I had got another job and I was pretty much doing fancy hands part-time at that point. But in 2012, the early part of 2013, I was killing it, okay, killing it, killing it. This person wanted me to get rid of the gray. I'm not really sure what that is. Simple human. Um, it took me 427 seconds to do that one. So sometimes they take a little bit longer. Um, Dalmatians prime rib. Let's see what this one is all about. I have no idea what Dalmatians prime rib is, but it only took me 28 seconds. Uh, can you please call Delton's Bar? They gave me the website and ask them if they do prime rib. I walked by a few weeks ago and saw a sign saying that they were doing prime rib on Wednesday nights, but I don't see it on their website. So I'm not sure if it is a one-time thing or if they do it every Wednesday, but just haven't updated their website yet. If so, can you please find out what time it runs, how much it costs, 
Do we need a reservation or anything? And will they be doing it this coming Wednesday, i.e. January 2nd? So I called, I said, I called Dalton's Bar regarding requests. Unfortunately, they, the representative stated that they do not sell prime rib at this time. He stated that it was only, it was for a limited time only. Thank you for using fancy hands. And I got paid $3.11 to make that phone call and ask these people, are y'all selling some prime rib? Okay. Bomb, right? Bomb. So family, I'm not going to go through all these because I have hundreds, okay? Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of these requests, you guys. Um, but I just wanted to show you that Fancy Hands is thebomb.com. Again, I haven't worked for them in years, so I'm not really sure how they have changed. But back then, they paid once per week via PayPal. That is how I got paid from Fancy Hands, okay? So if you guys are interested, again, I have a whole blog right up, it, right up of it on my blog and the exact link where you can go to apply because a lot of you guys have been going to the wrong location asking me, do it cost you money? Doesn't cost you a dime to sign up to be a virtual assistant with Fancy Hands, okay? So definitely go over, go over there and get you some of this money and hopefully it is still the same as it was, you know, four or five years ago, okay? Hopefully not much has changed. Hopefully you guys can go over there and you can make you a lot of money with Fancy Hands or make you a decent part-time living. Even if you don't make a whole lot of money, an extra $50, an extra $100 can be life-changing for some people, okay? That can be the difference between putting gas in your car and getting to work. So definitely go over there and at least try. And if you don't get in, don't feel defeated. Just go and apply for one of the other short task gigs. And if you don't get that, don't still don't feel defeated because what God has for you is for you. And definitely don't forget to go over and join the Work at Home Lounge over there on Facebook. That link will also be in the description box down below. Good luck to everybody who goes over and applies. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.